trade targets. Is there anybody who stands out to you that you want? I can't really say who stands out. We're in a unique situation where we're going to have a high draft pick. You're going to have an opportunity if there's a certain someone as Troy Weaver that you want. You can make a, a deal look real sexy for a team. We have some young guys. I truly believe that we're going to be heartbroken in that situation because mm. we have some young guys in our core. And if we don't start winning, you know, some games coming out the gate next season, man, it's it's going to be some bye-byes out of, yeah. out of that. Somebody got to go. Yeah. Somebody's going to have to go. Who is going to be? I'm not sure. Right. But you're in a situation where you can put a package together, man, and bring somebody in here. So, like I said, there's no no number one guy for me, but there's also a lot of guys available. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so, bro, it, it's somebody's going to be a target. It's tough. So, yeah, yeah, it's tough. I, I will say that. I, I think the biggest need, as you mentioned, is power forward. I do feel that small forward is a need as well, just because I feel like we need shooting. You know, I mean, if you believe Simone Fonteki was a small forward of the future, okay. I don't know if he's our starting small forward when we're contending. I don't know. He may be. I feel like he's a great backup piece. Is Fontecchio uh, starting on any other playoff team? <clears throat> right. I don't I don't think so. You know, and that's the way I look at it. It's, you know, we need some, if we're going to bring some guys in here, we need to bring perennial starters. Yeah. That's what I mentioned before. Like, I'm looking for him to be my Corliss Williamson. That yeah. guy that's been that really good bench player. Really, really good bench player. Um, but I feel like small forward, but most importantly, power forward is our biggest need. And for me, I don't know how realistic this is, but one guy, and this is actually part of the reason why I'm thinking I want to give Stu one more shot. Um, that's not popular, but this is the reason why I want to give him one more shot is because of a guy that plays for the Minnesota Timberwolves that was starting before Cat came back. Nas Reed. Yeah. Nas Reed, man. That is my prototypical power forward that I want. He's 6'9", 6'10", great defensive player, catch and shoot. He's got one of the quickest releases I've seen for a big man. They were better defensively when Cat was out. Now, I've watched them since he's been back. They play, they're playing better offensively, but the defense is, is lacking. Nas Reed is my guy. If we could get Nas Reed or if we could get Stu to become something yeah. similar to Nas Reed. And that's why, this is why I say that. I looked up Nas Reed's numbers, right? This is his fifth season. He's shooting 41% from three this season. Mm -hmm. Prior to this season, those other four years, he hadn't shot 35%. Yep. So something happened this season with his jumper. He was never a great three-point shooter before this season. And now he's one of the best in the league. So Man. that don't happen Perfect. every day. I get it, but that's that. Yeah, and he's hard nosed. He 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 one of them dudes. He a dog. So that's why I want to give Stu another shot. I want to see if he can become that guy. Because to me, if he becomes that guy, he's a starter on the contender. I really believe that. Will he get there? I don't know. But what Reed's been able to do, that jump he's been able to make from being able to shoot the ball, is why I'm hopeful about Stu. But then it's the other side of the coin, right? It's the other side that make you nervous about Stu because I'll be honest, there were some teams interested in Stu. And if you decide to go that route and say, okay, well, maybe we are willing to move on from Stu, then that's interesting. You know, we love Zay simply because of what he brings to the table. The way he moves, he has piston in him. I'll say yes. that. Yes. And that's why we love him. But like I said, at the end of the day, you know, somebody's going to have to to get moved that we love and he's a possibility because like right. I said of the, the interest that I saw from him at the trade deadline um, I didn't expect the, as many teams to be that interested but right. it was quite a few teams man so yeah. a nice read is perfect yeah that's that's. No, I watched the Timberwolves the Timberwolves are the team that settled me you know saying when the Pistons was doing all those losing you know okay. Anthony Edwards it's my guy. You Man, 
Man, I love guy. my Jordan son. I mean, uh, <laughs> Hold on, I, thought, I thought that was Jimmy. I thought that was Jimmy, uh, though. Yeah, him too. Was, oh, okay, that's his cousin. There's a lot of floating around out here. <laughs> uh, but Anthony Edwards is a dog, man. So I watched the Temple yeah. Bulls, man. Yeah. I was reading a perfect pistol. Um, I think PD Mack, shout out to him. He mentioned uh, Jaden McDaniels, too. That's yeah. He kind of reminds me of a Tayshawn, Tayshawn Prince type, really long, can make things difficult for guards, very athletic, can shoot the ball, wiry frame. The T Wolves are nice, bro. I feel like them and the Mavericks are the Nuggets' toughest competition. But yeah, that's my guy, Nas Reed. If we can turn Stu into him or we get him somehow, that'll go a long way. It's what we're going to give up. Yeah. That's the question. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What is Troy, what extent is he willing to go? to get some guys in here. Mm -hmm. You know, we, that, that when you look at the 04 Pistons before Rasheed Wallace, you know, they was missing that guy. I feel like the Pistons, before they can flip the coin and start winning some games, they need to bring that guy. You know what I'm saying? That one, that piece that's going to, I mean, just finish so, the little. So you feel like Stu is Nemeto Court? Yeah. Okay. What yeah. I mean by that for everybody That's who's not a slight at all. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to see where you at with it. What I mean by that is Nemeto Core was started alongside Ben Wallace in two thousand three, two thousand four before Rasheed Wallace came here. He was good because fresh the floor, very good player. But he wasn't a starter on a contender. Right. And that's what King is I think you're trying to say yeah. now is that I'm saying now we okay. gotta get starters, bro. We need guys that's gonna come in. She was the guy that came in here and pushed the thing forward. Yeah, and he took on a personality that you didn't really see from from Sheed in Portland because he became more defensive too. You know, what I'm saying I want things to be contagious. I want to bring pieces in here that's contagious to everybody. Yeah, you know, to keep sure. everybody that mindset and say, "Hey, listen, man, this is how we win games. This is what we need to be. This is our person that we still don't have an identity." That's absurd. Destination restoration. TV in Y2K. You don't want to see, but that Y2K. Breaking records, set by Michael J. Bringing glory days back to the future, Michael J. He's way ahead of his time, he's got a plan, yeah. Let off by none other than his brother Cannon. If yeah, this is more than a game, it's a passion. Why they sleep, we working? Cause I'm a